Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 18 player rating prediction where today we have got Manchester United. So if you do want to see more, let me know in the comments which other teams you want me to do. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoy and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you are finding the content good. But we're starting off today with the goalkeepers with David De Gea, currently a 90 rated goalkeeper. I think he's going to stay at 90, although he did have a very good season. You can see getting 15 clean sheets. I do think he will stay as the same rating. Then we've got Sergio Romero. Now I know Sergio Romero is a non-rare, but for the Reference was trying to make it 3D and needed him to be a rare card. Now, I do know he is a non rare, but I think he will become a rare card next year. But I think his rating will stay the same. Still managed to get 12 clean sheets, um, obviously playing in all the cup competitions and obviously winning the Europa League. Still, I don't think he's worth a downgrade, even though he didn't play very many games. Then we've got Valencia, a right back, a very good season for Valencia last year. Um, 82 rated is his current rating. I think he'll go up to an 83. Could possibly go up to an 84. I think 83 though will be the, will be the right rating. It's a pretty decent upgrade all round. 44 games, one goal and four assists. Solid season for Valencia. Then got the other right back, which is Darmian. Currently an 80. I think he will go down, go down to a 79. He did play 38 games, didn't score or assist, and just generally didn't really have the same sort of impact that someone like Valencia. Now obviously Darmian can play left back or right back. But even so, even when he did play, didn't really impact the game too much uh, and really uh, have a good season last year. Luke Shaw is the left back and again, uh, he was kind of a bit different. He didn't really play, obviously uh, was injured pretty much the whole season. Still managed to play 19 games, most of them were as a substitute late on in a game um, but just ridden with injuries last year and, and when somebody gets injured I don't want to heavily downgrade them too much so I've decided to just give him a one point downgrade. Then got Marcus Rojo, um, actually had quite a decent season, some people could argue he could maybe go up in rating, I think he will stay the same rating as a 78 but I think he will get that position change to a centre back which is quite interesting because now with his card having 75 pace, 80 defending, 83 physical, decent passing as well, he'd actually be a really good centre back card for next year in FIFA. Then got Chris Small and Curran in 84, um, I think he'll stay as an 84 here, he had a very good season last year to be fair, I don't think he did well enough to be upgraded but I think he had a, a pretty solid season to uh, to stay as an 84 rated centre back, hopefully he'll still be as OP as he is this year. Then got Eric Bailly again, another player that got injured a little bit, um, started off the season like a, an absolute house. On fire by he, he, he took to the league so well he did so well to begin with then got a couple of injuries and didn't really play a lot towards the end of the year and was kind of in and out of the in and out of the team with obviously injuries and whatnot um, as Man United had quite a lot of injuries so I think his rating will stay as an 82 um, he's a very good centre back and he'll be a high rated centre back in the future there's no doubt about that then got Daily Blind 81 rated um, I'm keeping it as an 81 um, and not really upgrading too many players because I don't think they had like standout season even though Man United did win three trophies they didn't see they None of them had like standout years where you go, wow, he definitely deserves an upgrade. Blind had a decent season, again, pretty much played mostly in cup competitions, but was relatively solid and uh, should keep his 81 rating. Then got a new signing, Lindelof um, from Benfica, obviously moved to, uh, to Manchester United now. Uh, we'll get that one point upgrade, I think, could possibly get up two points I think one points right though but I see I've given him two physical two defending and two pace at uh, 57 games got two goals again a youngster I think he's only 22 looks like a real prospect and could be a good player for Man United in the future I think a Paul Pogba uh, again this one's going to be the one that everybody's eyeing up and I decided to give him a one point downgrade Pogba is one of my top three favorite players that I love to watch I think he's absolutely amazing I think he will be one of the best in the world in the future I think he just struggled a little bit at the start of the season didn't really adapt to the league too well and um, was kind of still finding his position I still don't think Mourinho used him in the right position I think he tries to use him as a holding midfielder I think he's better a bit further forward kind of almost behind the striker but you know obviously that's not where he sees him playing that's where I think he's best playing that's why he played at Juventus and that's why they bought him for the money they bought him because of his performances there Mourinho doesn't seem to use him in that way and uh, I don't think he's really adapted to that position Ended the second half of the season, he did a good job, Pogba. I still don't think it's enough to save him from this inevitable downgrade, though. Then got Wayne Rooney. Um, his, his kind of slide seems to continue. Currently an 84. I think he'll go down to an 83. Again, didn't really have a good season last year. Didn't really get too much chance to play. He was on the bench pretty much all the time and uh, only ever came on really as a bench player. Still managed 10 goals and 8 assists, even though he only played four, even though he played 49 games. Uh, but I still think Rooney is going to get that downgrade. Then got Juan Mata, much like uh, Rooney, uh, is going to get, I think, going to get that one point downgrade. 45 games, 
10 goals and 4 assists. For somebody of Mata's quality, you'd expect a little bit more. You, can, you know, when he was sort of got those 87, 88 rated cards, um, he was performing a bit better than this for Chelsea. And he just doesn't seem to be dragging out the performances for Man United. So I think a one point downgrade is fair. We've then got Ander Herrera, currently an 83. He's definitely going to go up to an 84. Could maybe actually go up to an 85. I, I think he could definitely go up to an 85. I think 84 though is probably the right the right rating for him. You can see 51 games, 2 goals and 7 assists. Um, if he's going to go up a little bit higher to an 85, he maybe would have needed a few more goals, a few more assists. But Herrera really shone last year as Man United, one of Man United's star, star players. You know, He did a very, very good job. Um, although I don't like his temper, I don't think that's really necessary in his game. That obviously seems to be part of his game, um, but you can't deny his talent on the field. We've then got Fellaini, currently a 78. I've actually upgraded him to a 79, which might surprise some people. But Fellaini seems to be a player Mourinho used a lot last year, and uh, to be fair, he seemed to get the best out of him. And he didn't do too badly, Fellaini, last year, in my opinion. You know, he seemed to be quite an important player for Mourinho and uh, just seemed to get good goals, although he only scored four goals. He seemed to score all of those goals at really crucial times. And so I think a one point upgrade for Fellaini could happen. We've then got Martial, uh, 82. Again, another player that I really like watching. I think he's a, a very good player. Um, and for me, again, he's at left mid. For me, his best position is at striker. You know, when he had his first season at Man United, he was playing at striker. He was doing amazing. Now there just seems to be this this obsession. Obviously, with with them having Ibrahimovic last year and Rashford, you know, Martial kind of got stuffed out to the left. His best position is a striker. You know, don't play him out at left wing. It's not what you know. You look at look at the season. He had 51 games, nine goals, only six assists. You're not. He's not going to perform when he's playing out of position. You're forcing someone to play out of position. He's not going to have a good season when he's a striker trying to make him a left wing. You're not going to play Lewandowski at left wing, are you? Or, or Higuain at left wing. If he's a striker, keep him at striker. But I think because of that, his one point now grade is going to happen. And then got Mkhitaryan, again, had a pretty good season last year. I was surprised to find out that he only got one assist last year. But he managed to get 15 goals 40 in 47 games. You know, I'm going to give him two, two shooting and one pace upgrade. Could possibly maybe get an upgrade. Get 15 goals um, could maybe be worthy of an upgrade. I decided to keep him the same. Um, I just think that's the right rating for him. Then got Jesse Lingard, uh, 77. I think he's going to stay as a 77, giving him two shooting and one dribbling upgrade. You know, 45 games, five goals, three assists. Seemed to be a favourite of Mourinho at the start, but then later on didn't seem to play too much, and uh, I think his rating will stay the same. And then we have got Marcus Rashford, uh, currently a 77. I think he will stay as a 70. I think he'll actually go up to a 78. Sorry, 61 games, 12 goals, and three assists. Didn't have a too bad a season. Not as good as his breakthrough season, let's say. Um, obviously with Ibrahimovic there, he didn't get as many opportunities. But I think when he did get opportunities, he did really play well and definitely does deserve an upgrade. And then three transfers, we've got Alvaro Morata. Uh, we've covered Morata before. I think he's going to go up to an 84 in my opinion. 52 games, uh, 27 goals and 5 assists. Had a very good season for Real Madrid considering he didn't start many games. I think this one's got a 70% chance of happening. We've then got James Rodriguez, uh, another Real Madrid player I think could potentially move to, uh, to to Manchester United. 31 games, 11 goals and 8 assists, giving him this one a 60% chance of happening. And then the final one we've got is Ivan Perisic, again a player that I really, really like. I think he's got a lot of potential and I think if Man United do sign him, he'll be a very, very good player for them. 50 games, 16 goals and 10 assists, giving this a 50-50 chance of happening. Um, this one's been around for a while so we're not sure what's, what's going to happen. It depends if Inter really want to keep him or not. We're gonna have to wait and see how this one develops but he will be a very good signing if Man U can get him but this is the Man United player ratings that I've got um, obviously if you do disagree and if you have any uh, what you think they're going to be uh, let me know in the comment section make sure you do a like on the video if you want to see more make sure you do subscribe as well if you're new to the channel that's all today guys have an awesome day I'm out